from WAOW. All your coverage in stunning high definition. Newsline 9 at 10, your trusted resource. Winter weather is slamming central Wisconsin. We're now taking a live look with our DOT Sky Cam in Marathon County. The snow is starting to stick on the roadways out there. It is slippery, so be careful. There have been numerous reports of slide offs across the area, and many communities have declared snow emergencies. Yeah, the roads are a mess right now. We want to turn it right over to Mike Brunling, who joins us now in the Weather Center. Mike, is this going to keep going? Well, it's going to snow for a while, then diminish in intensity overnight. I mm -hmm. dare to say it's kind of frightful yeah, outside it really is. right now. It certainly is. Here's the view right now live from our 3rd Street Lifestyle Center camera looking to the west from downtown Wausau. Continues to snow and, be, and blow with the winds rather gusty from the northeast. So far in Wausau this evening, we've had between 4 to 5 inches of accumulation. At times, it's hard to measure it because of the blowing and drifting. But you can see plenty of snowfall occurring through most of the area, and the snow has finally reached into far northern Wisconsin, still not snowing very much over the northwestern part of the state. But elsewhere, farther south, central and southern parts of our area and the state, it's been snowing rather consistently through the afternoon and now into the evening. At the downtown airport, we're at 20 degrees, northeast wind at 14 miles per hour, dropping the wind chill values down into the single digits above zero. Your weather planner indicates snow in the moderate to heavy intensity will be diminishing to light snow and drizzle overnight. Temperature reading will rise to around 23 degrees. Some light snow, patchy freezing drizzle tomorrow morning, 24 at 7 a.m., 27 at noon. Well, it's going to be quieter the rest of the week after the storm goes away. We'll have the update next. All right, thank you, Mike. And we want to give you a look at the road conditions across the area. This is from the State Transportation Department. Those roadways in blue show the snow-covered stretches, and there's quite a few of them right now. We have a link to these road condition, this road condition map on our website, waow.com. The winter storm is causing some messy conditions on the roadways. Newsline 9's Max Gordon has been following the storm's impact on travel conditions. He joins us now live from Wassa with the latest. Max. Well, Mark, Nancy, all drivers have it tough in these wintry weather conditions, but the toughest might have to be with the truckers. So tonight I asked a few how they're handling it. It went from this to this, from this to this, as our first major winter storm hit central Wisconsin. A fierce storm not only for its heavy snowfall, but because of the wind that's going to come with it, which is going to reduce visibility. This wind not only proved challenging for drivers because of the lack of visibility, but it also made things treacherous for truckers. You feel it. Mark Bradfish is expecting to be out with his semi tow truck all night. It's early tonight, but uh, right now I got to go to Stevens Point for a vehicle, a semi. Uh, those are the guys that are going to have troubles tonight. One of those truckers that Bradfish hopes he won't have to see is Jerry Jankowski driving to Chippewa Falls tonight. Tonight is probably the worst night that we've had so far this year. Jankowski's truck is 26 feet long and over 13 feet high, making it tough to stay on the road in the slippery and windy conditions. The only thing you can do is slow down and definitely drive defensively. That's the only way you're going to stay alive. Advice that Bradfish can agree with. Take it easy out there. Well, not only should you take it easy out there, but Wisconsin State Patrol also says that drivers, both truckers and, and automobiles alike, should keep their following distances large and also slow down out there. Live in Wausau, Max Gordon, Newsline 9. All right, thank you, Max. Snow emergencies have been declared in nine central Wisconsin communities. That means no vehicles are allowed to park on city streets during designated hours so crews can clear the roads. Wausau, Stevens Point, Wisconsin Rapids, Merrill, Plover, Adams, Nakusa, Clintonville, and the town of Grand Rapids have all declared emergencies. For details on the restrictions, head to WAOW.com. Because of the winter weather, there will be no meals tomorrow from the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Central Wisconsin. That includes deliveries and on-site meals. This program serves Langlade, Lincoln, Marathon, and Wood Counties. There are plenty of ways to get your car ready for winter. Experts say check your coolant and wiper fluid levels. Tire pressure and tread are also important, but another option can be snow tires. Snow tires are in the winter are definitely better. They definitely wear out faster. Majority of people run all-season tires. Um, you know, and as long as you're careful, they work too. 
You can check some of these things yourself at home, like your headlights, tail lights, and fluid levels. We're not the only ones dealing with bad weather. It's creating dangerous conditions for tens of millions of Americans today. The latest in a string of powerful weather events. There was a massive cleanup effort underway in Texas after a string of deadly twisters tore through a community there, killing 11 people. We tried. We had tons of guys trying to flip it. I watched my sister lay upside down for hours. The storm system also brought snow to New Mexico, where the governor has declared a state of emergency. And you can be the first to know about any changes in the forecast with our text alerts. You'll get the latest weather updates sent right to your cell phone. To sign up, head over to waow.com and look for the text alerts section on the right-hand side of the page. No charges will be filed in the police shooting death of a Cleveland boy. Tamir Rice was holding a pellet gun when he was shot by police. A grand jury decided not to indict a Cleveland police officer or his partner for the November 2014 shooting. The mayor and police chief announced an administrative review of both officers to see if they violated any policies. Hadley's Office Products, which started back in 1965, has been sold. The owners sold the copier division to Marco Business Machines. The furniture and supply division was sold to Complete Office of Wisconsin. The owners say it was just the right time to sell because down the road they see the industry getting even more competitive. We wouldn't have been competitive in the long run against the Amazons of the world, the Complete Offices of the world. The 20 current Hadley employees will either stay with the new ownership or retire. The Packers Vikings showdown has been rescheduled for Sunday night. Shocking allegations against some of the NFL's top players. The biggest target, Broncos quarterback Peyton Manning, who was accused of using performance enhancing drugs. An Al Jazeera documentary accused the NFL quarterback of using human growth hormone years ago while he was recovering from a major neck injury. The source of the information has been identified as Charles Sly, who claims to have been a pharmacist who helped Manning and other pro athletes get performance enhancing drugs. Manning immediately denied the claims. Now, Sly has posted a YouTube video recanting his own story. The statements on any recordings or communications that Al Jazeera plans to air are absolutely false and incorrect. It stings me, whoever this guy is, insinuating that I cut corners. I broke NFL rules in order to get healthy. It's a joke. It's a freaking joke. The Geyer Institute in Indianapolis says Sly was just a three-month unpaid intern in 2013. At that time, it was well after Manning was, had been treated. But it wasn't just Manning. The documentary also took aim at Packers players. They include Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers, and Mike Neal. Andrea Hay has the reaction. The documentary shows a Canadian pharmacist bragging to an informant that performance-enhancing drugs he supplied Mike Neal are the reason the defensive lineman became a linebacker. Neal's name is again mentioned later in the documentary by a different pharmacist, Charlie Sly, who is secretly recorded calling Neal a good friend, boasting he spent six weeks in Green Bay and claiming he met half the team. He claims he supplied Julius Peppers with growth hormones, which Peppers says is not true and irresponsible journalism. Sly claims he gave Clay Matthews a strong anti-inflammatory for his ankle. Matthews strongly denied this after Sunday's game. No, everything, you know, every medication that I have is prescribed from our team physician. Everything that this man has said is, like I said, it's 100 percent true. There's no merit to anything he said. It's almost laughable, you know, and no, those, those allegations are not true. Mike Neal is also denied involvement, and Sly has publicly recanted everything he said in the documentary. Still, a sports business expert at St. Norbert College says even if all claims are false, damage control is necessary for the green and gold to protect their image. I mean, the Packers have worked very hard for a very, very long time to make sure that they only bring in uh, players of high quality. In order to generate fan interest, there has to be a perception that the, that, uh, the games aren't fixed, and that the performances we're seeing from the athletes are legitimate. The Packers referred to comments Sunday by head coach Mike McCarthy. All of our players uh, adhere to the, the NFL policies, and, and I'll, I'll stand behind that. I haven't heard the last of this. Uh-huh, that's just the beginning. We're checking in now on the snowy conditions out there tonight. Mike Brunling is in next with your forecast right here on Newsline 9 at 10. Finally tonight, traffic in one California community came to a brief halt when an elephant seal was spotted trying to cross a highway this afternoon. The seal climbed out of the water and tried to make a dash for it, but California Highway Patrol officers 
blocked it from crossing into traffic. Crews from an area marine mammal center came out to help. They were able to safely return the seal to the water. And now we'll never know. <laughs> Why did the seal cross Things the road? Are too heavy just to move. To Can I say <laughs> to get to the other side, or is that? We don't know. They oh, turned them around. Okay. That's <laughs>